Holzman's here. Oops, sir. Holzman's also here. How are you, Commissioner? Doing mighty fine. It's a gorgeous day today, except for the wind. The wind is heavy. Yeah. It is. It is pretty intense wind over here, too. Bringing in that big storm, I think. So I, I haven't seen you, uh, you throw your hat in the ring yet. No, you have not, nor will you. How about <laughs> yourself? I mean, oh, yeah, thanks, all former thanks, politicians thanks. had to wake up thinking about it. <laughs> you made a yeah. comment this year. Maida? Maybe Maida's going to run for it. I heard I heard Maida's running for Senate. Yep, come on, oh. Maida. What's up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I am not that crazy. <laughs> you have to be. Crazy. You have to be certifiably <laughs> narcissistically insane to want to put you and your family yeah. through that. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, there are a lot of those reading, who are elected. I was reading that it's like on a typical election cycle, you have to raise something like it's something insane, like sixty thousand dollars a day or something for the whole cycle to like, wow, stand a chance. Yeah. Well, that's why Secretary of State Ashcroft making that decision makes perfect sense to me. You know, young kids. I mean, again, I think that you have to have a screw loose to decide that you want to put your family through that. Especially in this climate. I mean, when you and I were kids, I mean, being a congressman or senator, I was like, oh, my gosh, so esteemed now they're vilified. Everybody. Yeah, that 
that nine percent approval rating when we were young was uh, was super high compared to what it is now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry. Good afternoon. We we figure you must have been busy uh, filing for U.S. Senate. I, I have no comment on the pending U.S. Senate race. <laughs> Don't leave that out there. That that only cause problems. <laughs> there, was, oh. there was a Sylvie out campaigning this weekend, so I'm not, not sure what office, but there 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 is a Sylvie campaigning. Um, is Commissioner Kenny on? I've heard everyone else. I guess not. We will reach out to him. Kenny, sir. There you go. All right, perfect. Sorry well, about we... that. I came up with a really unusual password on this, but it turned out it was uh, just me. Yeah, no problem. I was I was uh, late as well. All right, so we are all in attendance. We'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Due to uh, COVID-19, we will continue conducting agendas via WebEx for the foreseeable future. So I ask those participating, please meet your call. Uh, unless you need to speak. First order of business is to approve the minutes from March 3rd, 2021. You all have seen those. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the March 3rd agenda minutes, say aye. 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 Those minutes are approved five to zero. We also had closed minutes from March 3rd. You all have seen those. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the closed minutes for March 3rd, say aye. 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 Those minutes are approved five to zero. Should be a pretty simple agenda today. We have seven items, uh, no other discussions, so we will get right into it. First up in tariffs and new orders, file number GW2021-0272. This is in the matter of the establishment of a working case for the review and consideration of amending the Commission's natural gas safety rules. Uh, this order grants staff's request to open a working docket to review and collect uh, comments concerning proposed changes to the Commission's gas safety rules. This is not a contested case, uh, but it is a way for interested stakeholders to submit comments about potential changes to the requirements to inspect customer gas piping. Uh, written comments can be submitted by April 9th. So I support this order as drafted version one. Commissioner Kenny. I'm in support as well. Commissioner Roop. As am I. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right, all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number EO 2021-0243 and ER 2021-0244. This is in the matter of the application of Evergy Metro Inc., DBA Evergy Missouri Metro, uh, containing its semi-annual fuel adjustment clause true up and adjustment. So this order approves the true up adjustments for Evergy's Metro, Evergy Metro's eighth recovery period from uh, October 2019 through September of 2020. Uh, those adjustments were also included in the interim fuel adjustment rate submitted by the company for April of 2021 through March of 2022. Staff reviewed the testimony and filings and recommended both the true up amount and the interim adjustment rate be approved. No other responses were received. So I support this order approving the true up and the interim tariff sheet version one. Commissioner Kinney. I am also in agreement. Commissioner Roop. I support your position. And Commissioner Coleman. I am in support. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number ET 2021-0020. This is in the matter of the application of Union Electric Company, DBA, Amron, Missouri, for approval of its efficient electrification program. 
So in October, Ameren requested approval of an electrification pilot program uh, that would provide incentives to businesses using electric truck uh, refrigeration units and lift trucks. Uh, last month, Ameren staff, the Office of Public Counsel, and Renew Missouri filed a stipulation and agreement which was unopposed. Uh, under the terms of the agreement, the company should be granted a variance from portions of the Commission's promotional practices rules uh, and use deferral accounting to track the program's costs and administrative expenses as a regulatory asset for consideration in a future rate case. Uh, I want to say that I appreciate the parties coming to an agreement on this project, uh, especially because it aims to promote uh, geographic diversity and focuses on customer education for the program, um, as well as time of day rates. Uh, I know that one of the conditions of the agreement is for Ameren to submit reports about the pilot program, and I'm looking forward to reviewing those in the future. Uh, so I support this order approving the stipulation and agreement version 3. Commissioner Kenny. Uh, yes, I am in support of the pilot program and uh, support the agreement. Thank you, Commissioner Roop. I concur. Commissioner Coleman. I'm in support. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right, all those in favor of approving the orders drafted version three, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number GO 2021-0126. This is in the matter of the application of SPIRE for approval to establish an on-bill financing program and cost recovery mechanism. The Commission previously uh, suspended the tariff sheets the company submitted for a new on-bill financing program until the end of this month. Public Council objected to the tariff sheets uh, and staff recommended that the Commission reject the tariff sheets and allow the issue to be considered as part of the company's general rate case. Spire responded, opposing staff's recommendation, and states that including the tariff sheets as part of the rate case will just delay their ability to offer the program. Uh, Consumers Council and Renew Missouri also filed separate responses requesting a hearing separate from the rate case uh, to be held on these tariffs. So this order further suspends the tariff sheets and directs the parties to submit a proposed procedural schedule, and I support the order version 3. Uh, Commissioner Kenny. I will support the order. Commissioner Roop. As will I. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the orders drafted version three say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number WC-2021-0223. This is Mr. Morgan, complainant, v. Carl R. Mills, Water Service, DBA, Carl R. Uh, Richard Mills, respondent. Mr. Morgan filed a complaint against Carl Richard Mills, alleging violations of the uh, terms of a prior commission order. Uh, Mr. Morgan also requested his complaint to be consolidated with the pending rate case for Carl Richard Mills. Uh, this order denies that motion. Um, I support the order uh, because I think it clearly explains why the motion should be denied, including the fact that the purpose of the burden of proof, uh, the, or sorry, the purpose and the burden of proof is different uh, between a rate case and a complaint case. Uh, so I support this uh, order version one. Commissioner Kenny. I'm going to support the order as well. I might notice this uh, case has been coming up again and again recently, and hopefully we can rectify it, I will just make a note that there are seven customers involved. Yes. Um, Commissioner Roop? Yeah, I support the order. Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. All right, all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number EU 2021-0027. This is in the matter of the application of Union Electric Company, DBA Ameren, Missouri, for an accounting authority order to record and preserve net costs and revenues related to COVID-19. Last fall, uh, Ameren filed an application for an AAO for costs and financial impacts to the uh, electric utility due to COVID. Uh, Ameren staff, MIEC, MECG, 
Renew Missouri, and Consumers Council of Missouri have filed an unopposed stipulation and agreement. Um, under the terms of the agreement, the company is authorized to track uh, incremental costs due to COVID, such as operating and maintenance expense, Certain operating cost reductions due to savings during the COVID uh, pandemic will also be tracked and netted against the deferrals. Uh, the company will not defer any possible lost revenue from reduced customer usage during the time. Um, and I think that this is a reasonable outcome. Uh, so I support the order approving the stipulation and agreement version three. Commissioner Kenny. I agree with you that this is a uh a good AAO, and I think it's in the right process, and I support this in the forthcoming order also. Thank you. Commissioner Roop? Uh, I uh, concur with uh, your and Commissioner Kenny's comments. Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version three, say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. And then the final order, uh, file number GU 2021-0112. This is in the matter of the application of Union Electric Company, DBA, Amber, Missouri, for an accounting authority order to record or preserve net cost revenues related to COVID-19. Uh, similar to the prior case, Amron requested an AAO for its gas operations for COVID-related costs and impacts. So Amron staff, uh, Renew Missouri filed a stipulation and agreement that the, uh, neither public council nor the Missouri School Board Association has opposed. Uh, the agreement resolves all the disputed issues and, and permits the company to track as a regulatory asset specific costs related to COVID, including the O&M costs uh, for increased protection measures for employees uh, and customers, as well as bad debts. Similar to the agreement in the prior order, Ameren will not be deferring any lost revenue from reduced customer usage. Uh, so the ultimate treatment uh, of the tracked items will be considered in the company's next rate case. Uh, again, I think this is the reasonable way to approach it. So I support this order approving the unopposed agreement version three. Commissioner Kenning. I support the order. Commissioner Roop. I am in support. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version three say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. So that concludes reports and orders today. As I mentioned, we have no other discussion. Uh, so we will turn to scheduling. Wednesday, March 17th agenda and at 10 15 AM. Wednesday, March 24th agenda at 9 AM. Wednesday, March 31st agenda at 10 15 AM. Thursday, April 1st, an evidentiary hearing in EC 2021-0059. This is Missouri Landowners Alliance v. Greenbelt. Uh, that will be conducted via WebEx at 9 a.m. with Judge Clark presiding. Wednesday, April 7th, agenda at 10.15 a.m. Thursday, April 8th, we have an evidentiary hearing in SA 2021-0017. This is Missouri American Water Company's application for a CCN in and around the city of Hallsville, Missouri. That will be conducted via WebEx at 8.15 a.m., Judge Jacobs presiding. And then Tuesday, April 13th through Wednesday, April 14th, we have an evidentiary hearing in ET 2021-0082. That's Ameren's application for approval of its surge protection program. That will be via WebEx at 9 a.m. with Judge Pridgen presiding. Are there any questions, comments, or requests regarding scheduling through April 14th? All right, hearing none, thank you commissioners for this uh, afternoon agenda meeting and uh, we are adjourned. Thank you thank guys. You, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, thank you Mr. Chairman.